Sponsored by NatureBox. For great tasting healthy snacks and 50% off your first order, go to naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and Microsoft has confirmed that they're still looking at ways to add backwards compatibility to Xbox One via emulation. The confirmation came from Frank Savage, partner development lead at Microsoft's Build Developer Conference during an audience Q&A, where he said, there are plans for an emulator, but we're not done thinking them through yet, unfortunately. It turns out to be hard to emulate the PowerPC stuff on the x86 stuff, so there's nothing to announce, but I would love to see it myself. Microsoft supported backwards compatibility for some original Xbox games on Xbox 360 via an emulator that was updated until November 2007. The next month, the company switched to digitally re-releasing the most popular Xbox games via Xbox Live, and that continued until 2010. The company has also previously mentioned looking at a cloud-based streaming solution for Xbox One backwards compatibility, similar to Sony's PlayStation Now service as a way to bridge the generational gap. Last year, Microsoft's Senior Director of Product Planning and Management for Xbox, Albert Pinella, said, There are so many things that the servers can do. Using our Azure cloud servers, it could be more complicated things, like rendering full games like a Gaikai and delivering it to the box. We just have to figure out how, over time, how much does that cost to deliver, how good is the experience. Sony's PS4 isn't backwards compatible yet either, but in January, they launched a beta for their PlayStation Now service, which will use Gaikai to stream games to PS3 and PS4 at launch, and may be used as a digital rental platform based on a promotional image Gaikai accidentally published last month. We'll keep you posted with more details as they're announced. For all the biggest updates in video games and entertainment, click like and subscribe, and we'll keep you in the know.